Good morning, welcome to Nifty Prediction. My name is Narendra. To join my WhatsApp group, I am charging 500 rupees per month. You will get turbans, prediction details as well as calls in the group. If you like my research, if you want to support me, you can donate me using GPA and PhonePay and Paytm. Let's go to the review for Friday and then go for a prediction for Monday. Nifty ended up in the negative 14,981.751. 37.20 percent points in the negative 0.91 percent in the negative opened around 15,740 sorry have uh, 15,074.80 and I went around 15,144.05 and low went around 14,898.20 let's go to my prediction review Nifty reopened in the range of 15,074.80. Exactly, it has matched in our data. You can check. I have specifically told that if the market is opens anything below 40 points in the negative, it's indicating extreme bearish with a stop loss of overall average. But uh, today, it is very important that it is not only the overall average stop loss is R1 also normal stop loss I have specifically given both stop loss but it is not even broken the R1 stop loss which is nothing but the R1 stop loss is nothing but 10 points if you add that particular level 15,148.60 that particular level is also not broken so the pre-opening itself it has given the clear hint that it is going to go down extremely bearish because 15,078.13 and 15,074.80 it is well below that level it is the indication that market is going to go down I, I, I already pointed out that the 14,971 is pending if you go and check my youtube channel I have specifically pointed that uh, 14,009 71 target it has well gone below that level and it has went low around 14,898 which is exactly matching with the stop loss if you keep the stop loss which is 14,094 minus 10 points which is 14,897 point to it so that stop loss level is not broken so that is the reason it has recovered and that low and closed a little higher it, the market has been down almost 200 points but it has closed in the range of 137 it has recovered almost 65 points from the low let's go to the prediction for monday Monday the ratio indicating 6 is to 6 which is evenly poised we need to play much more cautiously because all three results are possible with 33.33% chances so whenever we get all three results are possible we need to play much more cautiously but we have a, a target of 15,262 which is open I would like to show you that because on uh, the Thursday it has opened and I will show you that as well if you go and check my video I have specifically pointed that
I'll, I'll show you that in a bit. Ah, here it is. Because I took the screenshot of it. You can go check my video as well. That high on Thursday it has closed 15,250.75, but it is not matching with the data. Normally, three points or stop loss it has to be. See, it is not matching with the three point difference or in the 10 points of stop loss. Stop loss need to be added for the selling. So, it is below means it has to be in the three point. So, stop losses will come higher. So, 15,072. So, it is on the so which means that this 15,262.13 is right now target is open 15,262.13 target is right now open so uh, we need to play much more consciously on Monday why because it is showing that all three results are possible but still it might go extremely bullish as well uh, I would like to uh, I, I will tell you how it is going to be and the average is indicating 2 is to 1 which is on the positive but difference of 1 point which indicates the volatile which having chances and absolute frequency indicating bearish but weight is on the bullish which means it is kind of confused kind of market so whenever we have evenly poised uh, you must have to keep both options in hand at least minimum of 10 10 each side uh, or else small traders but better avoid trading on this specific day because it is not going to be easy uh, to trade on this specific day but i'll show you what are the basic rules we need to follow if anything opens above volatile level one anything 86.89 points above 15068.64 it is extremely bullish market with the stop loss of average overall average which is 14000 990 minus 10 points so 14980.74 is the extreme bearish sorry extreme bullish stop loss extreme bullish stop loss anything above it has to open on the other end anything opens in the flat positive even one point we need to keep stop loss in the support level one which is 14942 .8. 0 minus 10 points so 14,932.80 because we need to support 10 points this is the normal bullish market stop loss even bullish market stop loss it might go at least to 84 which is the pending target it might have chances to hit to 15,262 that pending target which is matching on that particular bullish level so that is also one reason it has to, had a, has a chance to go bullish so this stop loss need to be noted for bullish 14932.8080 stop loss need to be washed out and it might go extremely bullish towards to this 15,261 even if it is opens flat positive also and other on the other hand if anything opens below this volatile level 2 which is 68.92 points indicating extremely bearish anything opens below 14,009 12.83 with a stop loss of overall average plus 10 points which is 15,000 74 is the stop loss for the bearish extremely bearish even the normal bearish market also same it is showing even r1 is also same points only showing so the same point will come for the bearish and extremely bearish stop loss so that is the reason we need to keep one particular option in other side as well both option we need to keep because uh, if the market is open so even flat negative if it's not breaking this particular level it might go extremely bearish because both normal bearish and both levels are same stop loss are having and uh, what is the power value showing anything opens below 
306 which indicating downtrend with the negative target 1, negative target 2, negative target 3 which is 93 to 130 feet and 334 what the t this is indicating that uh, power value anything opens below that level market will try to go down so what this is indicating after a bullish trend for example after these trades are done the market may open extremely bullish or even flat whatever it may be after reaching the target for example 15,266 because we have a pending target 15,262 if the target is done there is a chance of falling down heavily or from that particular level and may close in the flat or it may close extremely bearish as well that is the reason we are keeping both options in hand for example if you are having if you bought uh, c for 10 and p for 10 rupees any kind of a put option which values around 10 rupees and we bought it somewhere in the morning when the market starts in the flat and the market is going bullish means this particular 10 may go some 20 30 40 that time we are going to book the profit then after reaching the certain point of target then if the market starts to fall down this 10 may go down to 2 3 or 5 then it will once again from 5 to 20 30 40 it may go so that is the reason we are going to keep both options and one day thing is that the market is open flat it may not move towards to positive or it may not move towards to negative it stays in the flat itself within the range of volatile 1 and volatile 2 which is 68.286 points if it is oscillating vice versa then we may not get huge profit but still we can able to see some profit of 40-50% uh, from that buy buying price so it is not going to be easy to trade if the market is trading in between the volatile level 1 and volatile 2 within the minimum range let's see how the market is going to give us on monday thank you